Find my pa and me We came on the slope, John B Round Nassau town Where did it roll? Those other guys are building boats to sail I'm trying to build something to fly Georgetown was being considered as the capital of the Bahamas In April 1954 Three old friends, Jay Linton Rigg and Ward Wheelock and Arthur Harrington, uh, met down here at Linton Rigg's house. And they thought it'd be a good idea if they did something to help preserve the last of the sailing working boat fleets in this part of the world. They thought that a regatta would be an ideal vehicle to do this with, as it would bring together a lot of American yachtsmen, Bahamians, and help give the men a little something to do after the crawfish season. So they conceived the idea of the uh, first out island regatta as it was known then. The single regatta that has the most economic impact is the Georgetown regatta. This is uh, historically, it, it grew from the, uh, the first regatta being 1954. The economic impact is tremendous. When the regatta started, they may be in the red, but by the time we got it over, the bank account is in the block for the rest of the year. <laughs> the boat I own, I have two in the yard, yellow, one anchor off, yellow. That's what my favorite color, and I don't change that. I change that one time and lose it. I got so much. <laughs> in order to make the boat go faster, they just have a couple of their guys. They would invite a couple of crew members sleep. overboard. <laughs> so they had to make a rule about not having people go overboard. One of the crew was given the helm to steer one night and the captain said well, he wanted to take a nap. He says, now you see that star up there, stay for that, eh? So he stayed for that after half the ship, about two hours in the shift, he knocked on the cabin door and said, Cap, he says, I, I've passed that one, give me another one. Right now everybody is hungry to get ready to sail. Like I say, these young fellas getting dangerous. If you, if the older fellas don't back out, they can beat them out. What I mean, beat them, they can beat them so bad they can stop. I am very, very competitive. <laughs> Everything is a race. Even when the race is finished, it's a race to get back into the cove. I say, Stefan, man, like, why you, why you won't carry me sailing? He says, take off your shoes and get in the boat. <laughs> so, so <laughs> I took off my shoes and I got in the boat. We raced and we won. So I wasn't actually the only the first minister to sail, but first minister to win. So the next minister who follows, <laughs> he got to sail and win. If cricket were to stop tomorrow, uh, people would not lose any sleep on it. But you try to stop regatta, you just might have some civil disturbance. No, no. When I was the president of the Bahama Sailing Association, and, and one day I was summoned to a, a meeting with the Minister of Sports at the time, and he, he said, Mr. Lawrence, I noticed on your letterhead, it, it says that sailing is the national sport of the Bahamas. And we all laughed. And then somebody said, but you know, it's actually cricket is the national sport. I said, I said um, Minister, yes, and, and our letterhead will remain unchanged. Thank you. And hopefully during the 50th anniversary of our celebration, we will then name sailing as our national sport. I feel so blessed.